All right. So, you might notice this is not AI Dungeon. Yet. Yeah. You see, in or order to appreciate good fanfic generation, we yeah. need to appreciate bad fanfic generation. And yeah. that's what this website is for. So, I found out about this. Uh, some of the Where'd people in Wickersham's... Some of the oh, people okay. in Wickersham's were talking about it. And I mentioned that oh. we were doing it today. Uh, this is an intentionally, like, shitty, take the piss out of it, tongue-in-cheek. But uh, how can it be intentionally shitty? Look at those candles. I know, it's beautiful. It's we're gonna great. make the best Twilight fan fiction and sell out. <laughs> we're gonna be the next Fifty Shades. Okay, so this is a little different from AI Dungeon, which we will be doing after this. There's a new model of that on its way. Yeah. This uh, is more... Th this has to do with filling out a form. And we've got yes. some presets that we can choose from. What do we have here? We got Attack <laughs> on Titan. We got Bleach. Ace Attorney. Freaking, Avatar. Freaking bad. Creepypasta. A doctor Earthbound. Five Nights at Freddy's. Guardians of the Galaxy. Inside that Legend of Korra. Oh, Korra is you know. separate from Avatar. Mighty War Lord of the Rings. Zelda. <laughs> Sonic Sat is that different from Sonic the Hedgehog? Is it just uh yes? Sat AM is the one with Sally Acorn and the oh, yeah. quote unquote dramatic plot. Splatoon, yeah. Star Splatoon. Trek, Star Trek again, Star Trek Deep Space Nine, Star Trek TOS. What did I see? Mystery Star Wars and Scooby Doo on the on the Star Trek TNG ship. What the fuck? Why is Red Wall there? <laughs> that Tian Titans. Two. <laughs> Warriors like the that, cat, the cat. That's that series of cat novels where, where it's okay. like all, all like Xeno fiction, but for cats. I'm not familiar with that one. Super Mario Brothers. There's so, wait, hold on. Wait, wait, hold the hold the phone. Look, look at this. There's Sonic Sat Am and Sonic Sat Am again. There, it's listed twice. Where do you see it again? Okay, look at over Sonic. Oh wait, and then go to the left. What Sonic the? Sat, man. Sonic Sat. And no Sonic X either. No. <laughs> what a disgrace. Wait. Person of on. interest. Person of interest. One Piece. <laughs> what were some of the really big fandoms? There's not. Star Versus is not here. MLP is here. Yeah. Uh, is uh, I'm, I'm Undertale. Star... I'm wow, no Undertale. I'm guessing these were all listed for having, like, really known for being really shitty fan. Like, uh, or this is old. The Beverly Hillbillies. <laughs> I just noticed that one sticks out a little bit. Wait, the Lost Boys? The. The. That, isn't that like a Peter Pan like drama? No, that's a vampire movie. Oh. That's like. Well, I a, guess that's here. Or is that. Or is that Peter Pan? I don't know. Uh, Bleach let's do something basic to start hey, with. Bleach is up there. Uh, we can start with Bleach. How many can we combine, I wonder? Let's see. Oh, Euro this game. just, this fill in, fills in the things. What do yeah. we got? Settings. Caveman era. Fantasy <laughs> era. Future. Future. Medieval. Modern. Modern, modern, modern fantasy. Victorian. Victor Victorian Bleach. Yes, we do, we do book Victorian Bleach. Uh, should uh, Ichigo be our hero, or should we have someone else? Yeah, Ichigo should be our hero. Hero's hobby, heroing, hero's hometown, spirit society. You fit. <laughs> oh. No, it's like, you are... Well, I don't want to do that. No. Hero. Ichigo. That's good. You are a faster typer than I am. Unspecified. Okay. Hero superpower. Bongai! Hero's, hero's hobby. Hometown. What does Ichigo do? Um... Does he have hobbies? He fights bullies. That's pretty much it. He is, it is just heroing. Yeah. Yeah, he's a hero. Wow, what a, a boring dude Ichigo is. Hero's hometown spirit society. Get the fuck out of there. <laughs> Karakura town. Or should hero's we do soul world. society? Uh, no, Karakura town. Because that's the hero's hometown. Female hero's sidekicks. Home Rukia. Male sidekick. Chad. Orihime. Villain. No, Aizen's Aizen. a good guy. Why would you put his name there? Well, who's the real villain then? Uh. Have them fight Ganondorf. Yes, Ganondorf. 
Oh, hello, Ichigo. I've got a sword now. Have you seen? Memory rosary. What? What? No, it's got to be the Triforce. The, what the fuck are they getting these from? <laughs> this, uh, you the, know what? This is probably yeah the, the Triforce. This is, this is probably it, this is like the, the the quality of like a of like an average. Uh, so who's our relationship? Hero? Uh, okay, so this is like the ship. Yeah, what's the ship? Uh, hero, villain. Ooh. <laughs> Serenity, Dark Moon, Raven. That's a good. That's a good author name. No, we, we can do better. Uh, is it gonna be female or male? Uh, can we? I guess we can set that. Yeah. What's intro. It? Sometimes, always. Always. We always yes. have to have an author intro. Okay. So what's our uh, what's our author? Who name? who would be a character? Right. Izumi Konata? No. Who, I, uh, who's gonna? Who's the character writing Bleach uh, fan fictions? A, a character writing like like. Uh, What's I don't know. Okay, can say something. I have an idea. What's your idea? But that 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 I don't know if you've ever heard of this character. I don't think we've ever watched that series. Probably not. But shoot. Okay. Uh. Tomoko Kuroki. I am familiar uh, with. Isn't it Kuroko? I don't know. Let's whatever. Here, I forget. There. Kuroki. I think it's Kuroki. I am Tomok. Uh, okay. okay. We have our violence, violence rating. Max. How violent is it? Ego, ego rating. rating. What? Okay. What's ego rating? There's a question. Mark. I know, but they're not. Are they supposed to? Maybe I think it's supposed just, to be like a pop up. Cover them. Nothing's... Is it not? Oh wow. Okay. I guess well, we can't uh, know what these things are. Hi. That's good then. Uh, sex, sex rating. Yeah. Well, hell yeah. A little bit. Yeah. Average. Okay. Average. Cliche, cliche rating. How cliched is it? Uh, that that much. All right. Middle mi middle amount of cliches. All right. Let us uh, make a story. All right. Bleach, Ichigo slash Ichigo Kurosaki's return, now with 20% extra bras. Oh no, I don't think it did it right. It's just, it's you character. think it's going to be too much <laughs> sex? I, I typed no, it in I... as the pre-generator thing typed it in. Yeah, it's just going to be Ichigo Ichigo Kurosaki. <laughs> can we, can we, I wonder I if we can go back it. and do it over again. Uh, no, let's just read it. It, we'll it. just we'll just replace it with uh, with Ichigo. Yeah. Uh, All right. By Tomoko. Ichigo Author's style. note: I saw so many other fanfics with this subject, but I think they all got it wrong. So here, are my story to set things right. That that is some ego right there. It it does the, it does the grammar stuff too, like the the, the shitty grammar. Everyone, Everyone who looked could see there was an unde undeniably ravenous animal attraction between Ichigo and Ganondorf. No one <laughs> yeah. could deny it. No one except Ganondorf and Ichigo, that is. They seemed blissfully unaware of their attraction to each other. Unaware of their boundless, uncontrollable lust. 50%! <laughs> Sex rating? 50%. Every time they met, they didn't they show it. But everyone knew. Everyone knew what was really going on between them. A war of lust. <laughs> it's just describing Ranma. This is the Ranma TV people, Tropes article. People are people, so why should it be? You and I should get along so awkwardly. And everyone knew that it was an unsuitable situation. No one wanted to be dragged into that war. Something had to be done. Far, far away in a distant magical land... In the middle of all this, finally, Uryu could stand it no longer. <laughs> Uryu of all. It doesn't mention that it's Victorian, so we're just gonna have to... Oh, assume. that's right, we did set it to Victorian. He found Ichigo and pulled them to one side. That's it! It's ruining the team! It's clearly you, clear you can't function while Ganondorf is around! You know, our villain, <laughs> I guess. What? No! I'm fine! No, it's very clear... You need to do the aggressive cuddling with them. <laughs> Is that what they're calling it now? <laughs> Everyone else in the room nodded at this. Doing the aggressive cuddling with Ganondorf, isn't that, um, wrong? 
Oh, sure, it's wrong. Very, very wrong. But just because something's wrong doesn't mean it shouldn't happen, does it? <laughs> oh, I suppose not. Ichigo wondered, wondered off thinking of the aggressive cuddling. <laughs> the aggressive cuddling. <laughs> is that just what the sex bar does? Is it determines how explicit they are with sex terms? See, this is medium level. It just said it just replaced it with aggressive cuddling in every instance. See? The aggressive cut. That's a great euphemism, by the way. I've never think I've thought of that before. How will he introduce the idea to Ganondorf? And would they accept it? Ichigo was up earlier than usually. He was super excited. After all, today was his wedding day! <laughs> that's... Wow, that's a sudden jump. Ichigo danced through the room, sang a little bit, and couldn't wait until the evening. Oh, how excited Ichigo was! Today, he would finally be married to Chad. <laughs> Author's note. Oh, yeah. Ichigo Kurosaki is gay. <laughs> if you want to know how that happened, read my other stories. How did, how, I wonder how that would happen. He just, he just spied Kenpachi in the shower. He's like, oh, yeah. It's the, the, the Kenpachi is enough to turn anyone gay. Yeah. Of course, for this day, Ichigo Kurosaki had chosen the best wedding cake and the best wedding catering. And invited all his friends to come, except Tomoko, because she's a bitch. Wait, that's the <laughs> Oh man, she's a masochist. Chad himself was also up early in the morning, doing his morning stretches and exercise so he'd look nice and buff in his suit. Wait, does that mean that Ichigo's wearing the wedding dress? Ichigo was trying out his wedding dress in front of the mirror. <laughs> I knew it. There'd been a mix-up at the dresser, but Chad thought it was kind of funny, so they went along with it. Oh. <laughs> I like the way you look in the dress, Ichigo. Keep it on. But of course, most importantly of all, Ichigo couldn't wait until the actual night. See, Ichigo had a bit of a stick kink, but stick. kept it secret so far. But how, how does that... Stick, get, like, you get beaten on by sticks? It, 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 it's whatever you want it to be. Okay. I uh, may just keep it. Ichigo felt there had to be at least one thing Chad should only discover on their wedding night. Oh, how excited Ichigo was to finally share that final bit with Chad. What the fuck? This, it kind of like, hey, you should do the aggressive cuddling with Ganondorf, but it's wrong. Yeah, we'll do it. But I'm, okay, time to get married to I Chad. guess it's our fault to, for making it Victorian. Of course it's going to be romantic. Yeah, we should do we should do a modern... If only there was a setting for, like, war. The day was coming along nice. Ichigo received lots of compliments for his dress. Chad looked fabulous in his suit. His muscles nicely toned thanks to the suit being of just the right tightness. Oh, way, Ichigo loved watching his love. I should mention, uh, can you imagine, has Chad ever worn a suit in Bleach? No. We, th this is no. why this is a fix fix. This needs this make, makes it happen. Something that needs <laughs> <Whoa>. to happen. <laughs> Suits make everybody more powerful. Every time we just see somebody fighting in a fancy suit, it's just like, yeah. Your Roshi beat, beat uh, Broly in a suit. Yeah, a really nice suit. Those lips he could kiss all night long. And those hands, yaoi hands, Ichigo looked at it. Absent-mindedly as someone else was talking to Ichigo while he did so. Chad's hands were so full with power. The way he grabbed Ichigo's hands as they cut the cake. The way he held Ichigo's wrists as he cut the cake into slices. Those hands would be soon on Ichigo's chest. <laughs> Uh, yeah, wow, how very erotic. There was a speech or two, proclaiming that there had never been such a perfect couple as Ichigo and Chad, Then the that the universe had never seen such love, and everyone cheered and rejoiced, and there were flower petals and rice raining down on them, and there were songs being sang in their names. Or so it should be. Because when Ichigo stood there at the altar about to give his word to Chad, suddenly, an explosion! And from the smoke arised no one else but Tomoko! <laughs> Stop! You were making a mistake! Tomoko said. I should be with Chad! Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Thanks. Author's note. Ooh, bet you didn't expect that. Sorry, Clar Clarissa the Beautiful. I know I told you I wouldn't do that, but I did. Ha ha ha! On to the next chappy. 
Hi, Chappie. I guess that that's the next Chappie. Yeah, so... How wait, long wait. is this? How far, do we go to the bottom? Yeah, we gotta read through it, man. Go up. More. More. Okay. Okay, the woman stood atop of the rubble while from everywhere henchmen came from. This is really dumb! Why are we here? Why are we doing this? <laughs> what the... Well, how did you hire us? <laughs> We're supposed to be working for the monarch! The mo... Is... <laughs> Oh, there's no Venture Brothers. I guess we could make a Venture Brothers setting if we wanted oh, to. Oh, yeah, we could. This is No, this is automatically Venture Brothers now. This is fan fiction world. They tied up all the <laughs> wedding guests and Uryu, who had been the priest, too. This is basically Bleach in the Venture Brothers verse. Yeah, except oh, Victorian. Do, we haven't Victorian seen Ganondorf reappear yet. It's now Ichigo and Chad. Yeah, Ganon, where, where are you? I knew something was up, Tomoko said. You sounded way too happy last time we spat insults at each, at each other. She usurped Ganondorf as the villain. She said as she walked down from the rubble into the wedding area. Of course, there was also this. She took out a paper and folded it into an aeroplane. Then she fired it at Ichigo. That his powers, that her powers. Ichigo opened it up and saw it was their wedding invitation. Tomoko laughed loudly. Oh yeah, you were willing to invite Ganondorf, but not me? So I did what I had the right to do. I went to Ganondorf and I defeated him! And I took his invitation! This is just Ganondorf beaten by a, by a high school girl. <laughs> Ichigo I, I, knew that Tomoko could be powerful. Oh yeah. Before Tomoko turned out to be such a colo colossal biatch, they had been fighting Ganondorf together. But Ichigo didn't know that Tomoko could have defeated Ganondorf as long as she had enough motivation. <laughs> now to enact my plan. Because Wait, not what? only will I stop your wedding, I will make your wedding impossible. <laughs> She's gonna have like some weird stand power where she Why she can this... make something impossible across all of time. This is so quotable. Not only will I stop your wedding, I will make your wedding impossible. The henchmen's took Uryu and shoved him forward. They did the same thing with Chad. Tomoko walked over to Chad and took his hand. Now, Uryu, wed me! Otherwise, I will kill all you love! And if you, Ichigo, try to stop me, I will resurrect Ganondorf! <laughs> Ichigo felt like he was kicked in the stomach. What an impossible choice! Ichigo thought, Give up the love of Ichigo's life or save the world from Ganondorf. It was almost as if fate or God set everything in motion to torture Ichigo Kurosaki. But long Ichigo didn't have to be in agony because Ichigo had a plan. <laughs> Ichigo finally found a moment to pull Ganondorf away from the others. I guess he is resurrected now. To have a private no, moment. The Ganondorf was just uh, just off in the corner, just like motioning over, like, get over here, get, come on! Ichigo, <laughs> we have to do it. I know, my team told me as well. Apparently our feelings are causing problems for everyone else. So we agreed. We finally let our feelings out of their cages of repression they have been caged in all this time. Yes, for the team. No, for us. Ichigo leapt on Ganondorf at that moment. The raging southern Tamandua they kept locked up finally unleashed. The fuck is a Tamandua? We're, we're learning new words here. Ichigo okay, and Ganondorf quickly became a ball of body parts and blood. Noses, <laughs> legs, and ankles all tangled together. Does this author know what sex is? <laughs> no, they all don't. This fifth, that's a common thing is that fanfic authors don't understand. Ichigo didn't know what bit to focus on, so he grabbed an elbow and dived in. <laughs> more, 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 whispered Ganondorf to Ichigo. Their lovemaking was like a sunrise of penises. It's like they were everywhere, inescapable. Not that any of them were wanted to escape them. Things got messy from that point on. Nearby, the others occasionally heard screamed, but politely ignored it. This had been coming far too long to ruin it now, and this team bonding was very much needed. Author's note. Ah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry it took so long! I had to find some inspiration because, you know, 
it fic did end in a re- real difficult cliffhanger. But that after binge cool watching thing. some Netflix, I think I really got a cool thing down now. <laughs> <laughs> Make him go. <laughs> Ichigo said, putting up his most bored voice. Well, I didn't really want him anyway. I just said that to rile you up. What? Said Tomoko in utter disbelief. <laughs> yeah, I was so ang- I was just so angry with you over, you know, that thing that I decided that I was going to marry Chad just to make you jealous. And then, then, Ichigo Kurosaki thought of the one thing that would make his ruse even better. Because really, said Ichigo Kurosaki, I love you. Tomoko stood there baffled. All the knights looked at her, unsure what to do now. You mean that? said Tomoko. Of course not, said Chad. And in that unguarded moment, he knocked Tomoko unconscious. Ah! He didn't expect that to happen. Hey, bitch! Chad yelled loudly and laughed loudly afterwards. All the other guests laughed as well. As did Ichigo. And afterwards, when the police came and arrested Tomoko, the wedding continued. And as Ichigo predicted, in the evening, finally he could show off his kink. And then it turned out that Chad, too, had a secret. He whispered at Ichigo, taking off his shirt and revealing that he had been wearing a nipple clamps all this time. (laughs) <laughs> that was kind of hot as well, Ichigo thought, and it became a really, really nice night. Although, deeply, somewhere, Ichigo felt a little doubt over his proclamation of love towards Tomoko. Maybe there was a core of truth in it. Maybe their rivalry was nothing more than elaborate foreplay. Nonetheless, now it was too late. Chad was Ichigo's partner now. Although maybe, when Tomoko finally came free... Ichigo might be able to convince Chad to explore more kinks with the both of them. The end. So I got a couple of, uh, of like, things to talk about. This <laughs> was... I have several questions. So, the maker itself, it seems as though... There's probably, really like, a because... chance of self-insert. Well, no, it, it was actually kind of... It was more coherent... <laughs> Like, the general structure was more coherent than, than I thought it would be. I thought it would be, like, just going to straight-up random events plot. But, like, how AI... Like, how the early ver- the Griffin model of AI dungeon would go. But, for some reason... It, yeah. It actually sets stuff up and then followed up on it. Which makes me think that it has, like, a set amount of, like, uh, ad-lib, like, blank spots. Probably. That it kind of fills in. Probably, because it probably has like, like certain tropes or lines included into the programming. Yeah, which makes me wonder how, how it. I just like the fact that that the Ganondorf Ichigo side plot was just they fucked, and then now now I'm gonna marry Chad now. Yeah, it, it was. It went through so many different ships between Ichigo Chad, Ichigo Ganondorf, Ichigo Tomoko. <laughs> I love the fact that. Uh, that she, she says that she killed Ganondorf, and the Ganondorf is like, no, nah, I didn't die. I didn't die. What, you, what, that's stupid. He was just there. He didn't need to be resurrected. And then after that, he was out of the story. He just vanished. He's like, he's like yeah, we got that out of the way. Later. I'm maybe, glad maybe. we dealt with our feelings, Ichigo. We just, needed, we just needed to hate. We just needed to fuck it out. <laughs> anyway. Uh, oh, man, I wish Hunter the- Hunter was on here. Oh yeah, that's also missing. Hunter Hunter, and I still baffled that Undertale is not. Any suggestions from chat? Or Sonic? I know Saucy would enjoy that. <laughs> Sonic Hunter Hunter crossover. I mean, we could do it. We could type in whatever we want. Oh, uh yeah. Pokemon. Alright. Pokemon? Alright, Pokemon. Uh hero's name Pikachu. Uh should we be a P- like a Pokemon or should we be we be like a trainer? How weird is this gonna be? Uh, let's be let's be a trainer. How about? Oh, there's not a Castlevania trainer. setting. Sorry, Darian. We could insert Castlevania into Pokemon. I, yeah, I got have, it. Let's have Simon Belmont. Do... <laughs> oh, I can't back. Okay, I just set it to Pokemon. Go on. Ah, fuck. Did, did Whoa, I hit fat. something else? Hit some. You can hit I, something I tried. else. And then re- you broke it. <laughs> yeah, this, this site is apparently prone to crashing. I've been told. Uh, should we be Simon Belmont or should we be Dracula? <laughs> it's Dracula. 
would be Dracula. Male superpower vampire. <laughs> he's vampire. Maybe he is vampire. Hero's hobby. Eating ketchup. Yes, ketchup. Yes, yes. Drinking blood. <laughs> Hero's, Hero's hometown. Home. Castle. That's the name of the castle, right? Castlevania outside Palatine. <laughs> But it's outside Pallet Town. <laughs> Heroes Home World. This is What's Kanto. Pokemon. Sure. <clears throat> All right. So, what are our Pokemon? Uh, Jinx is one of the presets. Of course. Uh, what would be? But what are some of the what are, Guard of War? What are some Zub of the popular ones? Zubat. Because yeah, is there any vampire? Drink blood drinking Pokemon? Uh, Except I for Zubat. I can't think of any. Put Silver in there. Oh, yeah, we can have a, like, a trainer side. Silver could be the villain. <laughs> you fucked with the wrong person, Silver. Eevee. And. Or who, who's our uh, Ash? <laughs> Ash, yeah. Brock. Evil Ash. Brock the villain. Brock. Or no, it could be a Belmont. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Brock Belmont. That's his oh, name. Oh, we did, uh... Well, we did Dracula as the main character. We can make Simon the villain yeah. of our story. This is our... This, we're doing it right. This is fan fiction. This is, this is Draco in leather pants. Uh, Dracula in leather pants. Uh, what's the, what's the MacGuffin related to Pokemon and vampires? Uh, Master Ball. Mast uh, the Triforce didn't really come up. I guess it's because of the rating. It, like, yeah. It randomly. How about no relationship? Uh, it's still uh, by Tomoko. Okay. Yeah. It's it's weird because the uh, the it we set the relationship and it didn't really matter in the end except for the one well, sex scene. Yeah. By the way, we should turn sex off. Just just to uh. <laughs> yeah. That was fifty percent. Yeah. And maybe and maybe yeah. Have ego have where it, it is. Yeah. Low. And then how violent goes, is it going to be? It's got it's Castlevania and Pokemon. Yeah, it's got to be pretty all high. All the way, all the way. Cliche rating. Let's see how that goes. All right, all right. Are, are you ready? Oh. Modern era, yeah, that that works. What? Modern or fancy modern? Medieval. Med <laughs> I just eyed that medieval. Thing. That seems like medieval. one too many things. How about just modern? All right, modern we'll fantasy see. actually yeah modern fantasy actually I think would work make him a vampire alright Pokemon Zubat story by Tomoko authors in oh, here, I, mean, I want to zoom in a little more this time I love the fact that it's the same author in universe <laughs> alright authors note I am writing this novel because I am a fan of Pokemon. However, it's become clear to me that the creators of it have got some things wrong and clearly don't care about making it good. I'm talking mostly of Zubat, with Dracula and Simon Belmont. This fic is my attempt to correct that. By supporting this fic, I hope to get a group of elite Pokemon writers working with his new canon and to establish this as the truth of what actually happened. Hopefully the original creators will see the <laughs> demand and make this official. Perhaps even pay us, because we're fixing their mistakes. If you wish to join my new canon, feel free to write your own story, but you must submit it to me for approval. You can use my email, therealpokemonwriter at gattermail.com. You can also send constructive reviews there, but no petty criticisms. If I get motivations muddled, it's because my cat distracted me. Also, if you don't like my story, you don't have to read it. You don't too have read it. Anyway, and now on with the real story of how things actually happened. Dracula had been fighting Simon Belmont's troops all night. He had made quite a mess. Hi, my name is Ebolia, and this is my story. A year, a year ago, got a job working for ESA. I am just an intern, but already I am fitting in like Dracula. I'm a girl, though. In fact, my boss, Steve... Yes, the Minecraft Steve, has taken a real shine to me and has said he will let me play around with one of ESA's big things. I can't what wait! What is ESA? 
I Electronic don't know. speed assembly? The British the 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 European version of fucking ga games done quick. Despite working she at ESA, is... I am also friends with Dracula and most of his Antendrej. <laughs> Entendrej. <laughs> oh, this is just me and my Entendrej. That's the right word, right? I know Dracula and Gardevoir and Eevee and Zubat and Silver. I met them all a while ago in my backstory, and these days I had known them quite a while. <laughs> my backstory. Author's note, look forward to the backstory! <laughs> I call on them for help quite often. By coincidence, this was one of those times. Gardevoir, 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 Gardevoir! Ebolia, 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 Ebolia! What the fuck? Uh, yeah, I'm not reading all those. <laughs> <laughs> After that, I put down the phone and started telling everyone else what's up. Dracula! I said to the rest of ESA. Gardevoir! 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 Dracula! Dra is this what Pokemon fanfiction is? They're just saying their names. I just got that. Heavy! <laughs> Heavy! Said Simon ESA. Simon Belmont! Simon Belmont! <laughs> <laughs> That's why they're doing it! <laughs> When it came to assemble the team tomorrow, I knew just who to pick. Dracula, I said. Dracula had started working here recently. As he had a change of heart recently and decided it was their true calling. Hey, Ebolia, said Dracula. Thanks for picking me up. No problem, I retried. <laughs> I'm gonna fix the cannon. This will be my true cannon. Just writes down Gardevoir 20 times. Darian says, what the fuck is this? It's great is what it is. Dracula was the obvious choice for this job. I then told the team to assemble in the planning room so we could plan the mission. We were in the main yes. planning room. There was a huge whiteboard, a projector, a screen, holograms, and a blackboard. Wait, they have both a whiteboard and a blackboard? And a screen, <laughs> and a projector, and holograms. Why? <laughs> we don't need... <laughs> Boy, this room feels really cluttered. We still Ebolia. don't know what the ESA is, by the way. ESA. It is. I'm, I'm just going to assume it is the uh, European Speedrunner Assembly. <laughs> this was the room where the European Speedrunner Assembly planned stuff. Much of the good work we did started here. Like the time we defeated Simon Belmont and converted him to good and make him wait him work for us. Or the time we saved the world from that rogue planet. Or the time we adopted a Vric Vricolacos. Okay, I'm looking that up. Give me a second. Uh, give me one one second. I am looking that shit up. I made coffee, but I'm uh, afraid to drink it because it's going to dehydrate my voice. Vricolacos. Oh, holy shit. <clears throat> Is it like uh, a Castlevania character? Vircolokos, also called Vorvolokos or Vordolkos, is a harmful undead creature in Greek folk folklore and in Salento culture. Oh. Okay. Wow. Well, this right, Tomoko knows her shit. It is generally equated with the vampire of the folklore of the neighboring Slavic countries. Vorkolokos eat flesh, <clears throat> particularly livers, rather than drink blood, which combined with, their, with other factors such as appearance being more in line with the modern concept of a zombie. So okay. they adopted a zombie, a Greek zombie. I got out my pen and paper and started discussing the plan. Gardevoir, Gardevoir, Simon Belmont, said Dracula. Okay, so th they're saying other Pokemon names now. Yeah, this is how they communicate. Zubat's a Gardevoir. E Ebolia. That just came out of nowhere. We didn't even put that in. That's. I I'm guessing that's the author's self-insert. With that, all, we, we all got onto the ESA Segway and flew to the very foreign city of San Francisco. <laughs> Once we got there, we found our worst fears had already come to pass. Sith was already there. Sith's patrols were all over the city, searching in every hut and palace. Petrols. Petrols. Like, is it, oh yeah, Sith petrols. Have Sith have established gas stations all over San Francisco. Darth Gasoline. So is, is this like a character's name, or is this the Star Wars Sith? We have, we have to find out. Silver, silver, silver. <laughs> we began sneakily and stealth, stealthy running around the city. Unlike Sith, we had more information about where to look. 
After torturing some thugs for information with Dracula's help, we found it before them. <laughs> it's just, they're saying stuff. We can only tell what's going on by, by what's, by the, narr by the uh, description. I, I wonder if this, there actually are a lot of Pokemon fanfiction like this, or if this is just what the person who made the thing decided to I've interpret read... Pokemon fanfic as. I think I think people find Pokey speak as annoying as like most traditional viewers, and they just kind of cut out the middleman by having either the humans understand what exactly they're saying, or they just have them speak in regular text. I would imagine because like, it's just regular text in Mystery imagine, Dungeon. Imagine playing Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, but all you're seeing is like it is just the fucking them saying their names over and over. Every text box, the top line is just the Pokemon name. You just you. Phase, tune it out after a moment, after a while. <laughs> oh, that's the line I don't look at. I said, pointing to the master ball hidden by a weird hanger. Evie said, St "Oh, Steve is the Evie. Evie, Stevie, Steve." No, Suddenly just... grinning. Simon Belmont. Simon Belmont. <laughs> Steve pulled off his mask, and suddenly his face was Simon Belmont's. I stood gobsmacked in the face. Dracula! 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 Silver, silver, said Dracula. <laughs> I was frozen still by life and life. What amazing exposition just occurred within those names? <laughs> this is this is a postmodern masterpiece. I believed in the ESA, believed in what it stood for, believed in the good work we had did, but it was a lie. It was all a front. It was all Simon Belmont all along. I pressed through the pain though. Maybe ESA was a lie, but that didn't mean what its cause was meaningless. I di it didn't mean I had to surrender to give up. Evie, 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 Steve. I said that last part sarcastically. He pull ya, God the Father, God the Father, God the Father. Just then we were surrounded. We were about to give up again when I remembered something. <laughs> Simon Belmont. With that, me and Dracula started punching and kicking them, using our vampire when needed. <laughs> Oh, they're talking about the Greek vampire. As they were actors, they were easy to take out, leaving just Simon Belmont surrounded by a pool of blood. Zubat, Zubat, Dracula! In perfect synchro heroism, me and Dracula leapt at... Pulling off a mass... Pulling of a massive vampire karate chop combo. Evie. <laughs> said Simon Belmont as he ran towards the master ball, but we did it again and again till he was dead. He was just a few meters from the Master Ball. It had been a close call. Gardevoir, said Dracula. I looked around at our, at our devastated lives. Dracula, Dracula, Dracula! The beginning? <laughs> that part was great. It was just them saying names over and over, and he's just like, my life had been a lie. All of the exposition happened in name speak. <laughs> It must have been really good. It must have been like the best of ever. <laughs> you think? <That's... laughs> I know we Some gotta of... get. It. I know we gotta do AI dungeon. I kind of want to continue this. Should we do one more? Yeah, let's do one more. Let's uh, let's not do Pokemon. Uh, crossover mode. Select crossover mode. Let's oh, see what that? that does. Oh, I didn't even see that. It's a yeah. Okay. Uh, so what could we cross over? Doom. There is there is no Doom. I guess we could insert Doom. Uh, My Little Pony Friendship is Magic and Sonic. Oh, that's just asking for trouble. Yeah. Oh, how many? Can, can we do... How many? As many as we want? <sighs> or Sonic. Sonic. And then Dragon Star Ball. Trek. That's a good. Star that's Trek. a good mix. Yeah. Do we do four? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's do it. Okay. Heroes setting. Name. Okay, so it defaults to the. Oh no! It, it mixes a bunch of them. Yeah. I guess that's what the preset does. So it's Goku. What era the... is it going to be in? Future. So it's Goku, martial artist who eats. Hero's hometown of Village. 
Uh, okay, we, we, we got to change a few things. His superpower is, uh, sure, martial arts. Hero's hobby, fighting, also eating. Yeah. In this continuity, he crash landed on Mobius. On the home world of Earth. Female sidekick. Blaze the cat. Why does it, why does it do, is that why? Okay, I did a, I did a slash instead of the straight line. Maybe that formats it differently. Yeah, so, Blaze the cat, Spike, Beverly Crash. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna replace that with an M O. We should do an M O P here and do like a, I don't know, a Picard for the mail. Yeah, Picard, Captain Picard. I love that the villain is Discord, but the MacGuffin is Q. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta leave it like that. Uh, oh, okay. We, which pony is best pony? Uh, Rainbow Dash. That's gonna make Sauce mad. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. <sighs> Villain sex. Uh, yeah, it's it's female Discord. Sure, get some yeah, R sixty three in there. Yeah, you know what, people? You think you think in this universe, Tomoko would act? Okay, yeah. Someone, Fine. someone from chat suggested it, and that's gonna be a, a funnier voice to do. Violence rating, ego rating. <laughs> I like. You think Tomoko's fanfics are actually popular, for, but not for the reason she intended. Yeah. Just weird. The readings are like, what the fuck? This is a comedic masterpiece. I guess violence is still pretty. Uh, but we haven't had a lot of violence, despite it being like set really high. Uh, uh how, where, where did we set ego before? You make it lower. We nope, had it. You think we so? had it on the high end. We got it. We got to do it at low, but also do authors at note intros like all the time and see what comes up. Let's let's up the cliches for this one because we've yeah, had those go, low. Go up a little bit. Let's uh, let's do the intro all the time, guys. I want to see what a low ego author's note says. A sex rating. Wait, hold on. Go back up. Let's do. Let's have a relationship between Goku and Discord. <laughs> Female Discord. Or, I don't care. We could also do... If only we could do the villain and the MacGuffin. <laughs> Put Doom Guy I in mean, there. we could also do Blaze the Cat. <laughs> Doom Slayer. <laughs> you know, I like, Doom Guy's gonna sound funnier in, in text. Yeah. It's also technically correct, I guess. Uh... I guess either you, you could choose either Applejack or Blaze to do what for the relationship. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, Goku and Applejack. Yeah, that's this. That's a good idea. I'm gonna fix the continuity. Goku never should have been with Chi Chi. Well, the Dragon, Dragon Ball, Ball meets MLP versus Sonic meets Star Trek TNG Nightmare on Mobius. Author uh, here, I hope you enjoy my fic. I put a lot of my blood into it. Not literal, lol. Also remember to check out my other work. Dragon Ball meets all these things. Torment for Doom Guy. The Second Coming. Exodus. Discord in Love. Tomoko meets Doom Guy. An interview I did. <laughs> She's like prolific in this universe. <laughs> this story might cross over with some of those, so be sure to read them all first, <laughs> just in case. Okay, let's go, lol. The author is set to Tomoko, like the, the, the it's not my fault, I'm oh, not hey. popular. Yeah. The, it's not my fault, I'm not popular. Oh, we're oh, back to on. this again. <laughs> Everyone who looked could see there was an undeniably ravenous animal attraction between Goku and Applejack. No one could deny it. No one except <laughs> Applejack and Goku, that is. And then, and then Tomo, and then somebody writes writes a review going, Tomoko, did you just rip off your your uh, intro from your other fic? And then she responds, No, I did. Shut up. I was paying homage. <laughs> they seem blissfully unaware of their attraction to each other, unaware of their boundless, uncontrollable lust. Every time they met, they didn't show it, but everyone knew. Everyone knew what was really going on between them. A war of lust. So that's the same intro as the previous yeah. one. Except now it's just Captain Picard's going, I cannot stand it. 
Okay, okay this is the same entire chunk of text, but with different characters. You need to do the four. Hold on, go back up. You need to do the four. Legged fox. <laughs> <laughs> Just a cat the car. You need to do the four legged fox trot. I kind of want to reset this one for a different intro, though. All right, let's try it. Let's see if there even is a different intro. It's, oh, that's right. It's future era. All right, make story. In the darkness of the of that night, away from the prying eyes and ears of those who would judge, some strangers slipped by unnoticed. But they were not strangers. They knew each other. And they knew each other much closer than any of their friends did realize. They knew each other both inside and out. But their friends did not know this. Their friends could not know. Their friends should not know this. Nor could they know. Because it was night, and thus away from their viscous, judging eyeballs. Is it safe? said the first stranger, who was not a stranger to the other stranger, but will remain a stranger to us for the moment. I think so. It's dark, so none of the others should see us here, even if they are nearby. I think our secret is safe. Good. I couldn't take their judgment right now. My life is too stressful as it is. If it wasn't for you, I don't know what I'd do. Don't worry, Goku. I'll always be here for you, waiting in the dark. Thanks, Applejack. I will always be in the dark for you, too. With that, the two shadows embraced, an embracement in the night full of passion and romance. It was a dark and stormy night. Oh, God. <laughs> it was a dark and stormy night. For a moment, time seemed to slow down. Goku wondered why. Goku turned around slowly due to time seeming to have slowed down. Then, the explanation. Applejack was secretly looking at him, looking at him in that special way. Goku's soul lit up like a beacon in the night, even though it was day. In all of this, in all of this mess, they had each other, even if each other was the only ones that knew. Applejack turned away at that moment. Time jumped back to normal as Goku was no longer transfixiated by Applejack. Fortunately, no one else had noticed. Author's note, nothing is mine except my character, Lucretia. Enjoy! Wait, what? Hold on. What? <laughs> okay, that was chapter one. This is chapter two. Lucretia felt really depressed one day. She had just found out that she was adopted. Her real parents turned out to be nobles from Europe. Nobles. They had an upper-class skyscraper and were mighty rich. But she had none of that richness around. It made her feel pretty bad about herself, so she listened to some good music. What what kind of good music would Lucretia be listening to? Uh, okay, so it's fan fiction world, so definitely My, my Chemical Romance with the side of, uh... Of, uh... Nine Inch Nails? Not, not, well, maybe Nine Inch Nails. I was gonna say, what else was there? there was, oh, uh, my chemical wrong. Also, Sandy's gonna be mad Duke about that. Scarlet. Well, does she, does he like my, yeah. my chemical romance? <laughs> yeah, my immortal uh, ruined my chemical romance for a, for a generation because of, uh... <laughs> but long she did not have to be depressed as Goku came in and kissed her. They had fallen in love at the end of the story, see? And he said, Wait, I love you so much it hurts. What is wrong with you? If you feel bad, then I feel bad. So Lucretia told him the whole story. He was shocked to hear this and said, I'm really shocked to hear this. Your parents are monsters. Which ones? All four of them. I don't like them. As much as I don't like Applejack. Definitely not cheating on you with Applejack. No, it totally isn't happening. And all, and that was a lot because Lucretia knew that Goku hated Applejack because she was unbelievably stupid and fat. But Goku took out a letter. This had just arrived, said Goku. Lucretia opened the envelope and inside was an invitation. Sorry, envelope. <laughs> Most envelope. esteemed Lucretia, said the message. You are condored invited to the royal ball of your parents. Your real parents, miss. We hope to see you soon. Most esteemedly yours, Duchess. I am Duchess, come. Oh my, said Lucretia, this is rad. But Goku was a little septic. Maybe it's a trick. Why, said Lucretia. Because there are rumors of the chaotic Draconiquist still being around. Surely she could not come all the way to Europe, said Lucretia confidently. 
because she didn't think that Discord could travel that far. Hmm, <laughs> said Goku contagiously. We just have to be careful. Hold on, exclaimed Lucretia. There's something else in the invitation. Princess Lucretia, hereby we also bestow upon you the keys to the cage of a flying unicorn your parents have provided with you. They enslaved a, a unicorn? Provided you with. Also, whatever, whenever you hold this key in your hand, your powers are increased. I have powers? Lucretia was really happy with that, but also felt a little bad for Goku. She didn't want to make him feel jealous. After they had a re re relationship, Goku had taught her this his martial arts, and she picked it up really well. She was now even better at Goku at the martial arts. Hello, did we set Ego? <laughs> well, we don't know that this is her self-insert. This, this probably... It does feel like a self-insert. It usually with an original character with a really cool name that's like this, it's it's a fucking... This is Mary very Sue Mary Sue, thing. yes. Yeah, this is just a Mary Sue. So they went and picked up the flying unicorn. It was really quick and agile and flew I around should... them like it really enjoyed itself. <laughs> I should mention that I don't really have a problem with, like, original characters as, as long as they're, like, done well. Yeah. It's just rare that they're done well. It took a moment, but with enough training and perversion, Lucretia trained it to her will. Wait, what? Now they could go and visit their parents! Their par- What? But little did they know that the invitation was not from Blaze the Cat's European noble parents, but from Applejack instead, and she had teamed up with Discord. Okay. Then our gang knew what to do. They had to infiltrate the Draconiquis's forbidding dungeons, but in order to do so, they had to wear a disguise. Lucretia thought long and hard about the best disguise. They couldn't be too obvious or threatening, because then Discord's guards could catch them. But they couldn't look too mundane, because then Discord's guards would never let them in. No, they had to be clever. Okay, clever disguise. What, what, what could it be? So Lucretia came up with the best idea she had. They would dress up in gothic clothes. Oh god, full, god, full of my immortal. Goku's friends were a little skeptic at the idea, but they all agreed it was for the best. But where would they go? Where up. would they get the best gothic clothing? Clothing to surprise the guards with? Blaze the Cat knew exactly the best store to go. Tramp Vamp. <laughs> Tramp. <laughs> hey, welcome to Tramp Vamp. I hate it here. <laughs> it's just a bunch of. <laughs> naming your store Tramp. I was expecting a, a hot topic drop. <laughs> this, is, this is even better. <laughs> Tramp. <laughs> Vamp <laughs> is the sexiest that. Metal Gear character, okay? Blah, welcome to Tramp Vamp. <laughs> I'm no, no, that he, you can't understand him. It sounds like Dracula, Dracula, Dracula. <laughs> Is that where he works at the end? Of... <laughs> After the ESA were revealed to be corrupt, he started to work at Tramp Camp. <laughs> so they all went there in the deep of the night and took out the patrolling store guards with their silenced crossbows. Paw, paw, leaving only a single red dot in their forehead. Goku deactivated the alarm, and so they could easily get into the store and take whatever they need in order in order to <laughs> infiltrate Discord's headquarters. Wait, they robbed Tramp? <laughs> I guess they're not buying it there. They're robbing the place. Imagine a bunch of like a bunch of like bank robbers going into a hot topic and just and just looting the place. Go go go! Just shoving like just shoving like uh, like like scene t-shirts into bags and like caps and then just like exfil and get into an armored car and then leave. Crossbowing patrolling store guards in the process. Like this must be a problem for this store if they have night guards. <laughs> Lucretia put on nice, tight, studded leather pants. Okay. Then a black tank top with My Chemical Romance's logo on the back. There we go. And on top of it all, a nice long leather coat with blood red streaks on the side. Then she painted her nails black and used red blood to draw little drops of blood on there. Okay. Blaze wore a short red skirt with long black stockings that had holes where the toes would go so she could still paint her toenails. She, her, her, okay. Her Mobians have toenails in this author's interpretation. Well, I, I okay. <clears throat> and she also had a corset made from unicorn's gut that looked so awesome on her. 
Over this all, she had a long leather coat. Goku also had cool clothes. Author's note, but I'm running out of imagination to describe it, so I guess he looked like Neo from The Matrix. I know it's an old movie, those clothes look so cool. <laughs> Just fucking... <laughs> Goku is dressed as Neo. Perfect. <laughs> I know Kung Fu. <laughs> You, are you telling me I can dodge bullets? <laughs> now, Goku, I'm saying that you won't need to. Bullets <laughs> don't affect <laughs> you. <laughs> Finally, they were ready to face the Draconiquis. Sometime later in their secret hideaway. I'm glad we found a way to survive all that and still be together. Yes, our plan seems to have worked despite all the events. Do you think anyone spotted us? No. No. Yes. Lucretia emerged from the shadows of the darkness. I know everything, she said. Goku and Applejack gasped. Their secret was finally revealed. Oh, <laughs> so how'd she figure it out? I, d I don't know. I, d I don't love Applejack like you do, said Lucretia. But I've always lusted a bit after them. So you see, if Applejack spends the night with me, I will never tell anyone. Goku breathed a sigh of relief. That was, after all, a reasonable request. Oh, careful, she likes to buck. Be care beware of that. They agreed to the bargain. Phooey! That's something we can go along with, said Applejack, relieved. Lucretia was happy, <laughs> and Goku and Applejack thus got to live happily ever after together, with no one but Lucretia and themselves ever knowing. And this is where the story ends. So are they in a threesome or something? Is that is that what what's going on here? I, I guess like, she accepted Goku and Applejack's relationship, and she's just what she's just deciding to live with them, accepting it. Welcome to the stream, Whipper. <laughs> Hold on, there's there's more. It has come to my attention that some readers don't like my art. They say that it's it's all anti-Semitic. <laughs> Oh, no. Excuse me, but Jews are like that. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, Tomoko. And racist. I had a black classmate in my class once, and he was really stupid, lol. Oh, no. Fuck it. Horrible violent. This is mature. Didn't you read the disclaimer? That hurts me a lot. Really, a lot. Do you know how long it takes me to write my stories? Do you think I like it, being stuck at home with nothing to do but writing my soul into my art? My favorite show just ended and I was on Team Jacob. Writing is the only thing that makes me happy, but if that isn't good enough for you people, then I'm going to call it quits. Yes, that's right. I won't finish my this story. You forced me into this. Happy now? <laughs> I want to thank Pretty Snape 5 and Tinker Snuggums for beta reading, but I, I just can't take it anymore. So long, Internet. I won't miss you. I, I guess that's, that's the last Tomoko fan fiction. Yeah, that was great. Curated. It's a shame. So, which makes me think, did she, was, she reading, was she writing, like... like what are those other ones? That, those, those, what's in these? <laughs> the second coming is when they have to fight a Jewish Jesus Christ because he's secretly the devil. Is is that what is that what what what's going on in that one? Wow, that got she, real bad real fast. Just, just that that bombshell is just uh, oh my god! Are you accusing me of being anti-Semitic? She yeah. goes on to confirm it. Just, just... Fucking, uh, stick around, stick around. I have the end screen up. We're still gonna we're okay. gonna go mode AI dungeon next. Tomo go wearing a fucking MAGA hat <laughs> at a fucking Trump rally. <laughs> I don't go on the internet anymore. I just watch Fox News. They don't even watch Fox News anymore. They think it's too liberal. That's right. All right, stick around. We'll be right back with AI Dungeon. There's a new model. <laughs>